Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm reviewing the 2018 Hess Family Select Cabernet Sauvignon from the North Coast. It's 13.5% alcohol by volume, and I paid $15 for it at my local grocery store. So here's the deal. Um, I heard this arm sparring tonight, and it hurts pretty much like crazy to do anything with it. So uh, I'm just gonna skip the whole part where I spend probably God knows way too long trying to figure out how to open the bottle uh, one-handed. One eternity later. All right, I'm not good at pouring with my left hand. Uh, let's take a look at this wine. From a color standpoint, I'm gonna give you a medium ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. So the reason I'm still giving it a medium is because I can still see where the stem connects to the bowl. So if I couldn't see it, I would give it deep, but because that was the way I was taught, I'm sticking to medium. All right, so on the nose. So first thing I'm getting is a black cherry. I'm getting a little bit of plum. Cinnamon, nutmeg, getting a little bit like a black currant jam. There's a tiny bit of vanilla. There's also a blackberry nut that's coming through. Yeah, it's just a lot of dark fruit. Oh God, why did I move my arm? That was dumb. Anyway, how does it taste? Full body, medium plus acid, medium tannins. They're a little bit um, chalky. The tannins are a little bit chalky there. Always forget, bring this up during that section. Uh, intensity on the nose is medium plus. Intensity on the palate is medium plus. This wine is dry, maybe getting close to off dry. Um, there's, I'm, and, and this is where it's, it's playing a little bit of a trick on me. I can't quite tell if the sweetness I'm detecting is just the presence of that vanilla and those spices kind of on the palate because it kind of reminds me of like like no joke it kind of reminds me of like um like a dark fruit pie like with those types of spices and and the vanilla and all the other stuff it kind of re reminds me of that no, not in a dessert way more of like a savory way i don't know if any of that makes sense but i'm probably still going to keep it in the video because it makes sense in my head and the finish is a medium finish for me so anyway how's it rate we don't know until we get to the blick from a balance standpoint, there's nothing I can detect that's out of balance, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a full point. Length, medium finish, half a point. Intensity, medium plus on the nose, medium plus on the palate, 0.75. And in terms of complexity, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you half a point because I am getting a good amount of primary, I am getting some secondary, I'm not getting any tertiary. So in the end, you get really close to very good, and I'm gonna go ahead and bump you up in this case. The reason why is because this wine has enough structure, has enough body, to hold its own with food, but it also is reasonably mellow enough to be a solo drinker as a cab. So on that note, well done, has family select. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Hess Family Select 2018 North Coast Cabernet Sauvignon? I'd be interested if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see y'all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime. Now, if I drink enough of this, my arm won't hurt. I think that's the plan.